Well, how do that, chums? To Sai, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there, in the view of us, I'm going to be baking a cake. Yes, I need to fill up my catalogue. I've got lots of blank spaces. Now, I think this one is called the Soft and Spiky Surprise. So, uh, here we go. Let's head on off and let's go and see if we can bake it. Now, I am looking at the No Man's Sky Assistant app. Yeah, I'll put a link in the uh, video description. In the video description, go check that out because you can get it for your mobile devices and it's really Really good for working out how to cook baked goods. Now, one of the ingredients I need is a larval core, but sod getting that from those freaking little green critters at abandoned freaking buildings. No, you can actually buy these things inside of pirate systems of space. So I'm just jumping over to a pirate system now, and we're going to go and talk to the Venter. So the Venter is over towards that giant hauler over there. Oh, look, it's a yellow number. Have you noticed that these ships change colour, people? I've come across some right groovy ones. Heck yes. But yellow is pretty darn sweet, isn't it? It's groovy enough. Oh my god, it looks like they've peeled the skin off his face. Oh, you poor guy. But at least you got some shiny whites, my friend. Right, anyhow, let's grab these lava cards. Yes, I'm going to have all of them. Thank you very much. Just in case I want to bake a cake in another episode. I can't get this freaking right. Look, I want all of them. Thank you. Thank you very much, peeled face man. Awesome. Brilliant. That's like a really super... That's a really cruddy superhero, isn't it? Yeah, awesome. I used to watch the adventures of Burnt Face Man on YouTube. Really good little cartoon by David Firth. Check it out if you're not too creeped out by things like Salad Fingers. Yes, he created that as well. Anyway, people, I think I've chatted enough. So next up, I need to get myself some creature eggs for this ingredients. Now, you can use creature eggs, or you can use tall eggs, or you can use giant eggs. Now, I've got an actual planet that has diplos upon it, and I've got a base there that I made a mecha diplo on it. So here we go. Let's see if we can find my mecha diplo base. It's somewhere in in here I, I built it not so long ago right okay so it should be somewhere around the bottom of here and then we got a sausage fest no it's not that one. Oh, there we go mecha diplo top right hand corner people so i'll be jumping over to there and i'll be picking up some diplo eggs heck yes teleporter mondo chicka pow pow chicka pum pum so I'm not going to need these eggs until later on. Oh my days, I'm stuck halfway in between. Oh my, d oh no. Okay, I'm in the workings of my freaking base now. Get me out of here because uh, yeah, I shouldn't be in there. Not good. Right, oh, oh. Okay, brilliant. Have I got myself some creature pellets to feed these diplos? I do. Let's make a few more. Okay, brilliant. Hello there, diplosaur. Hello there. I love the spikes on his back. He's like a stegosaur crossed by a diplo. Isn't he a wonderful, majestic beast? Yes, he is. Lovely. Now, I have got a video on this planet. So if you don't have a diplo planet or you want to come and visit this base or put down a base somewhere inside the NMSA, because this is the NMSA hub, just don't put a base too near to mine. That'd be lovely. And uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're more than welcome. I put a video in the top right hand corner. I'm just going to grab this carbon and check out what I can do and what I can't do inside of here. But now I need to jump on over to my archive base so yeah i've got an archive base where i grow one of every type of plant which is pretty darn freaking sweet and it's like a big open air market so it took me quite a while to build this and i took inspiration from another base builder who for the life of me i can't think of the name right now but it was pretty darn sweet i've done a video where I give credit where credit's due to the actual person who came up with this idea of making an archive base and my actual build at this archive base. Again, if you want to come here, people, I put a video in the top right hand corner so you can come here. And you can see here, it looks like it's pretty much on the same planet anyway. I think it might be, you know, I think this might be planet N. But here we go, let's uh, chug this into here. And lovely, so I think I've got two bases here. So if you don't see one, you should see the other. And I'm making cactus nectar from the actual cactuses. Yes, so I picked some cactus, chucked it in there, made cactus nectar. I know, magical, right? So here we go, that's the cactus nectar done. Now I've done a lot of cactus nectar for a reason. If I put half of it back into the machine, take half of it out and keep that, I can make processed sugar. Now processed sugar, you're gonna need for quite a lot of your bakes, people out there in the view of us. So if you are becoming quite au fait with cooking, yeah, I squirrel away some of the, the actual minor ingredients for doing this sort of stuff inside of the actual ingredient storage inventory, which you get for having a nutrient processor. Sadly, having more than one nutrient processor doesn't up your maximum storage, and there's no way to upgrade the maximum storage on a nutrient processor, that I know of anyway. But I'm using that processed sugar 
and a lava core to make a delicate meringue. Ah, oh, lovely, jubbly, very simple, very simple to make the base ingredients for this cake. And what I would tell you people in the view of us, this is one of the top tier cakes to make. So if you can make this cake, you should be able to turn your hand to any bake. Yeah, freaking awesome. So here we go, we've, we've made that, that, that's cool. So what's next? I need to make some refined flour. Now I've got refined flour, but I'll show you how to make it anyway. So I'm gonna grab this frost wort plant. There's a few ways to make refined flour, but I prefer to just use some frost crystal. Chuck that into this side. I'm only gonna put in the smaller stack so it doesn't take so long. That's gonna make glass grains. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the best of flour, does it? That sounds like it's gonna lacerate your throat, but don't you worry, there's this new nutrient processor will render it safe to eat. So here we go, let's take that out of there, put that into there, put that over there. Refined flour is now on the bake and I'm just gonna make four. Inside of my access to the ingredient storage, you would have noticed I've got a pile of refined flour in there. So again, this is one of the base ingredients for a bake. So our eggs, so make sure you've got yourself a nice Diplo planet with bases. So there we go, there's the giant eggs in there. There's my delic meringue and look at that. It's gonna make extra fluffy butter. Brilliant. That is going to be one of the top ingredients for this cake. We're nearly done. We're nearly freaking done. In fact, all I've got to do now, take that out of there, put that fluffy batter over to there, the extra fluffy variety, and we put the cactus neck to there and look what we're going to get. We're going to get the soft and spiky surprise cake, and that's why you're here, to see how to make such an awesome, delicious cake. But you're probably thinking, Captain Steve, that's a lot of freaking legwork to get yourself a freaking cake. Well, what does that cake do? What does it do? What does it do indeed, people in the view of us? Well, one, it sells for quite a lot of units, you know, nearly 50K, pretty darn freaking nice, make 10 of them, might be able to buy yourself a cheap ship. But if you eat said cake, look, I've got a jetpack surge. Let's see if I can fly all the way to the top of an archive on a jetpack surge. Okay, it's fading already. Holy fudge. But I could just chuck in another, I could just eat another cake if I wanted to, if I was quick on my menu hopping and continue to fly. But you know what? This is enough. This is enough to get me up to the top of the archive. Isn't that pretty darn gnarly? Heck yes it is. Look at the view from up here. Yeah, I do think this, this is planet N. This is the same planet as where my Diplo is. Awesome and fantastic by sheer freaking chance. So yeah, hopefully you guys can come here and put down yourself a base. Right, okay, well I can't summon my ship all the way up here, so I'm going to have to jump over here and call my ship in over this way, aren't I? Brilliant, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, my Diplo base is here, that's pretty cool. Well, at least you saw a lot of this planet. Look, there's lots of striders here, people. I don't know whether they give you tall legs. They might give you tall legs, but I know if you kill them, you're going to get yourself some strider sausage, which is good for other sorts of bakes and pies. Right, anyhow, well, we're going to take to the skies, and we're going to head on over to the next. Nexus. So I hope you're enjoying this video people. If you are, please hit up a like and a subscribe and all that sort of stuff and let us know in the comments what bag you would like to see next. That'd be pretty darn sweet. But otherwise I'm just going to go through my catalogue and just do all the bakes that I need to actually complete. Right, so now I can present the soft and spiky surprise to good old Kronos. There you go and look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You have outdone yourself. This soft and spiky surprise is freaking awesome. He's giving me 129 freaking nanites people in the view of us isn't that freaking awesome heck yes it is air grab until next time people goodbye goodbye and goodbye again well thank you very much for watching if you like what you see please hit a like and a subscribe and i'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on patreon and over on youtube membership thanking you backers and if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.